Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show, sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Parks Yoga, Top Shine Detailing, and check us out on all of our platforms. Well, our lead story is kind of a sad story. Ted Cruz's daughter apparently was hospitalized for cuts, apparently self-inflicted. She claims that she's not suicidal. Um, you know, cutting seems to be a thing. And I want to show some humanity about a situation like this. By the way, this is a young girl. This isn't Hunter Biden on crack selling the country out to China. This is different. And I just want everybody to know that I feel bad for celebrities' children who don't seek out the notoriety and then when they have things in their personal life exposed. I think it's pretty unfair. The other thing, I had a conversation with my cousin Josh. Josh is always filled with great, simple wisdom. Josh goes, why do we need to know so much? And I agree with him. For example, why does the public get to know what the contracts are for all these athletes? When you think about it, why is that public, publicized? Is there some kind of law or rule that they have to publicize it? Let's think about that. Why do they publicize what all these players make? If I was a player, I wouldn't want everybody to know. I don't know what the answer is. But it's like, what's private and what's not private? Now, here's where I beg to differ, folks. When, when celebrities go, look at me, 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 look at me. And then something happens. Like, hey, you chose that lifestyle. You wanted that. It's a different ball game. And I'm a, I always joke, I'm a Z-list celebrity, so I understand a little bit. If you notice, if you notice, I don't share too much like some people do. You know, get in a fight with your wife and they tell us all about it on Facebook. I don't do that kind of stuff. But uh, I feel sorry for her. All the best to her and the Cruz family. Argentina's new president is pushing back against all the socialism. 350 socialist policies. I didn't know you could make up 350 socialist policies, but good for him. All right, there was an allegation by Kissinger that Trump smells awful. Folks, that is the biggest bunch of crock, low-life crap. Oh, he smells. I've stood next to Trump for about five different photographs. He smelled like a president to me. I don't remember a smell. Maybe I smelled cologne or whatever, but he didn't stink or smell. Kiss our ass, Kissinger. Rudy Giuliani's filed bankruptcy. No shocker here. Here he is going to the ATM, hoping to get at least 50 bucks out of there. But all these judgments and everything else, he's filing bankruptcy. Um, and he will. Now, punitive damages you can't bankrupt, but he'll work around it all. Jill Biden's press secretary, a male, was sneaking men in to have sex on the same floor as Joe Biden when he'd go away at hotel rooms. He's been fired. It's just a big cesspool around the Bidens. Everything is a cesspool. We are bankrupt, says this very wise man, Karyasaki, if I pronounce it right. He's a guy that's always selling gold and silver to us. You know, we are bankrupt. The United States of America is bankrupt. Don't forget it. It's sad. Both political parties did it to us. From George Bush, 43, Obama, Trump, although I always say he did have the COVID issue, Joe Biden, through all that, bankruptcy. Thank you, all four of you. John Schneider, he didn't threaten the life of Joe Biden. He says Joe Biden ought to hang for his treason. I agree with that. That's not a death threat. Now the Secret Service is investigating. What a crock. I stand with John Schneider. Joe Biden has committed treason. What do we do with those who commit treason? This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.